Hi, hello guys. Before we move on, uh, let's congratulate our CLAT 2023 toppers. Uh, so here uh, we are here to congratulate AR2 uh, Sahil Gupta, AR37 Pratyush Chaturvedi and AR96 Komal Gadwal. And apart from these three, we had 70 plus NLU admits guys. So 70 plus people from an academy reaching out to NLU. So if you want to be one among them, all that you need to do is subscribe to an academy CLAT channel and do subscribe to an academy platform and attend our plus classes, take mock tests and you will be on the list. And this is not just happened in 2023 season. So we have done it in 2022 as well. So in 2022, we had 45 plus people attending uh, from an academy going to NLUs. And in 2023, we made it double close to 70 plus people going there. Hi, hello guys, I'm Kalyan Charan VSG and we came out with another chapter on number systems, which is even and odd. Now let's start this session with a question, right? Is zero even? Please do comment in the comment box. If you have commented it as neither even nor odd, then you have missed our previous chapter. Please go and see the chapter to know whether zero is even and odd. Now, let's quickly move on to even and odd. What is an even number? So to start with, a number when divided by two leaves out a reminder as zero is said to be an even number. Now what is an odd number? When we are dividing a number by two, if it leaves a reminder as one, then that is said to be an odd number. Now we have just discussed that zero is even in our previous chapter. Now let's see the properties of even and odd. If I say an even number multiplied by an even number, what will it results to? If you rightly remember in properties of integers, we discussed whenever you are discussing about or whenever you want to know what would be an outcome, we need to plug in a number. For even and odd also, whenever you are looking at properties, try to plug in even as 2 and odd as 3, whatever is the result will be the result of the given uh, question. So here even into even, so I can consider 2 into 2 which results out to be 4 and we know that 4 is even. Hence even into even will end up giving us an even number. So likewise we are going to see the properties, the basic properties of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. If I say addition, in addition, even plus even will lead to an even number. 2 plus 2 is 4. Odd plus odd will lead to an even number. 1 plus 1 is 2. And even plus odd will lead to an odd number. So 1 plus 2 is 3 being an odd number. Now, this is the case when two numbers get added. Yeah, what happens if there is a third number, even plus even plus even, 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is 6, which is going to be an even number. What happens if I add three odd numbers? We already discussed this two odd numbers is going to give me an even number. Even plus odd, we already discussed to be an odd number. So 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 3, which is an odd number. Even plus odd plus even. 2 plus 1, 3 plus 2, 5. So, which makes it an odd number. So, even if you remember, even plus even, we discussed it as an even number. So, even plus odd, we discussed this as an odd number. Hence, even plus odd plus even is odd. Instead, if we have two odd numbers, we discussed odd plus odd gives you an even, even plus even gives you an even. So, whenever you are trying to uh, plug in, instead of applying the previous formula, you can actually put in numbers. So, for example, 2 plus 1 plus 2 or 1 plus 2 plus 1, right? That gives you a result much quicker. So, here there is one quick property that you all need to understand that if there are odd number of odds, what do you mean by odd number of odds? 3 odds, 5 odds, then the result will always be odd. In addition, if there are odd number of odds, the result will always be an odd number. And if all of them being even, if all the numbers are even, the result will always be even in addition. 
if all the numbers are odd, then the result is even. If there are even number of odd, then the result is even. In a summation, if there are even number of odds, then the result is even. And if there are odd number of odds, the result is odd. So, these are the two basic things that you need to remember while we are working with properties of even and odd addition. Now, let us move on to subtraction. In subtraction, odd minus odd. If I subtract one odd number from another odd number, the result is even. How do you check? 1 minus 1 is 0. And remember, guys, 0 is even. Hence, the resultant is even. And even minus even is also even. Right? Odd minus even. Odd minus even. So, 1 minus 2 is minus 1, which will result in an odd number. Or even minus odd for that matter. 2 minus 1 is 1, which is again an odd. So, remember in addition, if I subtract two odd numbers, the result is even. If I subtract two even numbers also, the result is even. When will the result be odd? Is only when I do a subtraction between an even and odd. Same goes with three elements. 0 minus 0 minus 0. What would be the result? Or odd minus odd minus odd. The resultant would be 1 minus 1 minus 1, which makes it 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 1 is minus 1, which is an odd. Since we have odd number of odds. So, the rule that we have applied in addition will be applied even in subtraction. Same goes with even minus even minus even will be even always. So, whenever the all numbers are even, then addition or subtraction will always lead to an even number. And odd minus even minus odd. So, all that you need to do is 1 minus 2 is minus 1, minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2, which will lead to even. Since we have even number of odds subtracted from an even. Instead, if it is odd minus even minus even. So, remember even minus even will lead to an even number. Odd minus even will lead to an odd result. So, this is the same situation uh, here for addition and subtraction as we discussed. If there are even number of odds, the result will always be even. For odd number of odds, the result will always be odd. For all evens, the result is always even. Am I clear with this, guys? Uh, do comment uh, your query in the comment box. Now, let us move on to multiplication. What will happen in multiplication? Odd multiplied by an odd number. 1 into 1 is 1, hence it is an odd number. So, multiplication of odds will always result in odd. Even into even, 2 into 2 is 4, hence even. And odd into even is also even. So, 1 into 2 is 2, which is even. So, remember, you get an odd result only when you multiply with all odd numbers. In every other case, even if it has one even number in the multiplication, the result tends to become an even number. Now, let us quickly see what happens if there are multiple numbers. As I discussed, if there are three odds, the result will be odd, 1 into 1 into 1 will always be 1, which is odd. So, remember, if it has n number of odds, which gets multiplied by, that will always result in an odd number. If it has 1 even and 10 to 20 odd numbers multiplied with 1 even number also results in an even result. Same goes with n number of evens with 1 odd also an even result. So, in multiplication, all that you need to remember is you will get an odd result only when you multiply all odd numbers. In every other case, even if it has one such even number, the result will be even. Now, let us see the division rule. And what is the division rule in integers, guys? If you forgot, please go and visit our previous video. 
which is properties of integers. In even and odd, the division rule odd by odd or even by even or odd by even or even by odd. These are the four possibilities when you divide two numbers. Let us quickly see what happens in each case. 3 by 1 is 3. Oh, good. It seems to be an odd result, is not it? But 3 by 5, is this an integer? Odd by odd, 3 by 5, that is not an integer. So, we cannot say that any property that exists for division of odd numbers. Now, do we have similar case for even by odd? 4 by 3, we cannot say. Correct, 4 by 1, it is an integer and it is even, but 4 by 3, it is not an integer. Hence, the division has no rules. Am I clear with this, guys? So, remember, we have rules of addition, subtraction, multiplication for odd and even, but we do not have any rule for division because in division, we cannot say whether it will end up as an integer or not. Since we already know that in division, there is no rule for integers itself, then there will be no rule for even or odd. So, guys, with this, we are uh, coming uh, to a closure to even and odd or the properties of even and odd. Uh, so, please uh, do subscribe to an academy CLAT channel and uh, let us focus on CLAT 2024 and uh, see you all in the next video, right. Stay tuned, in the next video, we are going to discuss about prime and composite. See you all.